Hey! Hey Julie, thanks for having us of today. Of course. Where are we? We are in Gowanus, Brooklyn in my brand new studio. It's super, super fun in here. What's your favorite holiday? Well, somebody came into my studio this weekend and said that this place reminds them of New Year's Eve, so I'll go with that. What's your favorite season? Oh, there's nothing better than October in New York, so I'll say fall. What is the best thing that happened this year? Getting this studio. What's the best gift you've ever received? Oh, um, two-way tie between um, getting this Dennis bracelet, and if you're from Massachusetts, then you know what it is, um, or getting the Peace Bear Beanie Baby in fourth grade. I was so surprised. What's your favorite fashion trend of all time? High-waisted jeans. What's your favorite movie of all time? A uh, three-way tie between Very Bad Things, Now and Then, and The Notebook. Nice. If you could make a documentary, what would it be about? Me. Do you like surprises? I love surprises, but I've only been surprised like a handful of times, including getting that Beanie Baby, so. What's your favorite dessert? Uh, ice cream. And what's your favorite food? That I do not have a clutch for, but it's this Middle Eastern lamb dish called kibbe. It's really good, I grew up with it, and I have it like every time I go home. And your favorite color? <sighs> Red. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark chocolate. And what are your favorite lyrics? Um, I love <laughs> this lyric by Cardi B. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh when I when I say it, but um, in the song "She Bad," there's two lyrics. One, um, "Shorty say it's all hers, whether thighs don't match," or um, "I'm a." I always say it wrong, but I'm a boss in a skirt. I'm a dog. I'm a flirt. Those are great. Cardi is a genius. And who's your favorite solo artist? Gwen Stefani. Come on. If your life was a song, what would the title be? Party of One. What's your favorite curse word? <laughs> what color dress did you wear to prom? Oh, prom was awesome. I made this white dress. It was short, it was so cute, and um, it had all black and red tulle underneath, so when I partied with it, it could just, you could see all the black and red, but the top was all white. It was so cool. Diamonds or pearls? Pearls. Blow dry or air dry? <sighs> well, uh, I air dry more because I'm lazy, but I should start blow drying more. Heels or flats? Flats. One thing you can't live without? Um, I mean, I should say something like air or something like that, but I'll say like my phone or my friends. What's the priciest thing you've ever splurged on? I guess my apartment. Um, I love my apartment. I just, yeah, I guess that's the most expensive thing. I don't really buy like things with like a huge price ticket. And where's your favorite place to be? I would say my house. I really decorated it to be like very me and I just love it so much. What's the best advice you've received? You have nothing to lose. And when was the last time you tried something new? I guess this month. Um, this is my first time commuting and I love like coming from my house to an office. It's the best. Gold or silver? Gold, bling bling yo. Pizza or pasta? Mm. Well, because we're in New York, we'll go with this. Brooklyn or Manhattan? Oh, I have a clutch for that too, you guys. Um, duh. All the way. All the way. Subway or taxi? Subway. Who is your celebrity soul sister? Ugh. I'm gonna pan over here to see Gwen Stefani. Who is your dream client? And we'll pan back again to say Gwen Stefani. Who is your style icon? And one more time, Gwen Stefani. And what are these? Oh my God, these I'm so, so, so excited about. So these just came in today. They are stickers um, that are going to be coming free with every purchase over $30 at juliemalo.com. Um, they are different celebrities holding my clutches. So we have Audrey Hepburn at Breakfast and Tiffany's holding a champagne clutch. Um, Cher from Clueless holding the money clutch. Riri holding the weed, weed clutch. And then we have three different Katy Perry's wearing my iconic outfits that I designed for her back in 2008. And then holding the clutches that were inspired by the outfits 
11 years later. So I'm obsessed. They're so, so fun. I love those. How do you take your coffee in? In my Keurig, um, I, I have like a lot of like crazy flavored coffees, but I take it black. If you could only eat one type of cuisine for the rest of your life, what would it be? I never get sick of Thai food. What are your thoughts on mom jeans? Love them. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In a penthouse in Tribeca with my hot husband. If you were a rapper, what would your stage name be? I guess like J-Mo or something. I could never be a rapper. And what is one of your guilty pleasures? Oh, takeout, for sure. Friends or Seinfeld? Friends. Shoes or bags? Come on, guys. If you could cast anyone to play you in a movie, who would it be? Oh, Helena Bonham Carter. She's just crazy enough. What is one design you have not done yet that you would like to put on a clutch in the future? So I really want to make a clutch that just says fancy. And it's funny because they're like casual vinyl cute clutches, but it'll be like your fancy bag. So I think it'll be good. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I really want to go to Greece. And your favorite boy band? Well, I was such an NSYNC fan back in the day. But I'm loving 1D. I know they broke up, but this Jonas Brothers comeback is also so good. So, I don't know. I love boy bands. Three things you would bring if you were stranded on a deserted island. Uh, food, music, and my lover. What do you listen to in order to get in the zone? Um, I listen to this podcast a lot. It's called How I Built This, and it's about how other people built their business, and it gets me super inspired um, to build mine. What is one fashion trend you regret wearing? Oh my god, I dressed crazy in high school. I used to wear sweatbands all the way up my arm, and I wore like three, four belts at a time. It was, you know, it was like the early 2000s, guys. You know how it was. It was awesome, though. What is one thing you still have from your childhood? Uh, I have this doll at my mom's house and I think she's gorgeous, but other people think she's scary. Her name's Dollyanna and her hair sticks straight up and she's missing all her eyelashes, but she is great. What makes you laugh no matter what? Me, I'm the funniest person I know. What is one habit you wish you could break? Uh, okay, so you know when you go to get your nails done and it's gel and then one starts to peel after two weeks and then even though the rest of them look totally fine, I'll just peel all of them off in like an hour in that moment. It's a terrible habit, but it's so fun. What's your favorite board game? Cranium. Love Cranium. And what do you do to relax? I love cooking. It's so much fun. PC or Apple? <laughs> Apple. There's Apple products everywhere in here. I love them so much. Barbecue or hot sauce? Okay. Well, this was cleverly put here, but hot sauce. What's the last show you binge watched? Yesterday I watched an entire season of, uh, what was it called? Selling Sunset. And I can't say that I loved it, but I watched the entire thing. So. What is your biggest strength? Uh, probably being self-motivated and being able to wake up and just like get shit done first thing in the morning. And your biggest weakness? Thinking I can do it all by myself. What is your favorite kind of flower? I love bleeding hearts. Describe your ideal first date. Uh, we live in New York City. Like I love being able to go to like a bunch of different places in one night. Not just like, don't just take me to a bar and get me drunk. Like that's so boring. Do you like your handwriting? Do you bake? No, I don't really enjoy baking. It's too many rules to follow. I love cooking, but baking is just, no. What is your favorite cereal? I can't eat cereal. I can't even buy it because I will just binge eat all of it. Like you'll start to pick at it and then the whole box is gone and it's a big disaster. So I just don't even bring it into my house. Red or pink? Come on now, red. What is the first thing you notice about people? <sighs> I guess their handshake. I will definitely judge you if you have a bad handshake. What's your favorite smell? Mm. 
this. Um, this is the Capri Blue Volcano scent. I have it in candles all over my home and then the diffuser reed things were the first thing I bought for my studio. I love this smell. And what's your favorite sound? The sound of sparkles. What was your first job? This one surprises everybody. Uh, I was a snowboard instructor when I was 15, and I haven't snowboarded in probably 11 years, but that was my first job, was teaching little kids how to snowboard. What train should I take to get home from here? Um, Go on the G train, best train in the city, don't listen to what the others say. And what are you doing the rest of the day? I'm making clutches. Thanks so much for coming by, guys. Thank you. Bye.